some for the rest of us. Can we move over here first? And then knock him back into that barrel. No. Um, apparently not. Oh, wrong button. God damn it. This is one of the stronger. So we're gonna knock it back. Come all the way here for a fight. Watch closely. Our options are real limited right now. get out of this circle we don't have any moves though so uh, maybe we just heal because I don't know how I get this. I only had one move thing. Mm. About time. I'm just trying to get out of the fucking circle, man. Redraw one more card. You only get one move. I have not been hit like that since. Hey. Looks like they call for help. Mother blesses us with power. Mother blesses us with strength. We protect. I'm just get rid of these two guys real quick.
So we don't want to fucking... We need... We need not melee attacks. Okay. Okay. So now we could do this. I wonder if we knock him back towards the fucking the barrel. Might as well redraw. I'm bleeding. He got blade from across the map. Eh! Man, reinforcements every turn. Bullshit. Healing. Got that. Will this make him blow up? Blow up! Yes! Did that do more damage? I don't think it did, but... Okay. We'll keep that for now. Damn, reinforcements come every turn, huh? Perhaps if someone fed the creature, it would stop complaining so much. Does that count as a... I don't know. There you go. So we want to get rid of these guys, then, I guess. So we're knocking this guy into blade to free him. Sounds good to me. My fucking uh, stream elements fucking froze up and during uh, the stream, and I have no idea why, but. I think that was overkill, but like. Some kind of rings or wins to be done. I thought he didn't get his turn. I'm very confused. Let's try to get rid of him.
Their champion has failed. Okay. Do we have to finish the other guys off? No. Okay. I saw someone shitting on the graphics of this game. They're not like the greatest graphics of all time, but they're fine. Yeah, Zoe. I was in the neighborhood, you know, being friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <laughs> Spider-Man! Jeez, oh, Eddie, what happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but... Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. Will you rip your face off and suck the pearl from your balls? <laughs> Nice to see you too, buddy. So I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares. Yeah, take Venom for his walk, man. He needs his exercise. Venom needs his exercise, everyone. Okay. Zoe, that sounds like the perfect afternoon for you. The perfect afternoon. Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just Isn't Tom Holland like a little guy too? He's not very big. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall, I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Uh, of course. I see it now. The look. Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... The, the Sanctum? Or Wanda. She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You oh shit a lot. For now It's enough that you all made it back In one piece More or less I'm covered in goo Ew <laughs> We'll talk more later Get some rest Oh, shut up, Mom. Now that things have settled down, you should get some rest. It won't always be this quiet. Now that things have settled down, you I gotta go talk to Tony. Tony. Ooh, Daddy. Tony Stark. Hunter, you look scathed. No. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there, with a little help. And where exactly am I going? 
Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. <laughs> Unless you'd be up for wearing a space helmet. You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. Where do you want him to shoot your we his web, Zoe? The old room, Ooh. Huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here. Other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink from your quill. I assure you, there is nothing to fear here. Well, it's easy to say not to be scared of things that go bump in the night when you are a thing that goes bump in the night. I don't even watch horror movies, and now I'm living in one. H horror movies? Oh, you'll love them. Imagine a painting come to life, moving, talking, telling a story, one that just <laughs> happens to be pulled from your very worst nightmare. Or just stop by my room. Fairly certain there's one hanging there already. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason, but it also comes with access the to cell phone? <laughs> a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. Superlink is your connection to the rest of your team, a social network just for superheroes. Check Superlink frequently for updates from other heroes in the Abbey. God. First we make Wakanda leave. Now we leave her to die. Some heroes. I assure you this is not the case. She was sent to you for protection. I see how that works, Supreme Sorcerer. We both know it's more complicated than that, Mr. Rasputin. Oh. What? It's like Facebook for superheroes. There never was enough room for my armor in this thing. Even the collar, we're, we're sexy. My old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. Uh, I don't know all that much about ball aerospace. Why? Also, what's up, Mulder? A mirror. Actually, no, I'm not. It's 
So it's just bedspreads. I think they do. Yeah, they make. I, they're a. They're. They do kind of the same stuff my company does, but. I don't know as much about them. I've never interacted with them. We were all so happy then. No, they make jets. Man, what is she masturbating to? Jeez. Also, how you doing, Mulder? Only I can stop her. They don't make jars, Mulder. We just went over this. What the fuck? Charlie. I know. I it's a hellhound. I missed you too. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. Red Rocket, Red Rocket. That's why I might have been a little cursed before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. First lesson you ever taught me. And still Woo! the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of all. And they're right. You are a hero. I like my poppy! But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. It was Agatha all along! Now I now I want a fucking Charlie dog bed. All night. I should have known something was wrong. Dog bed. We'll talk now. Yes. But for now, Sark has requested your presence in the village. I have a secret for you. Yes. Okay. I don't care about the other shit. Just want my dog bed. Yeah, look, he's at it. I get to pet him. Or her. Ah, I love her. Just want to pet her over and over. You have not set anything on fire today, have you? <laughs> Who's a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Just want to pet her. This is what we're gonna do now. We're just petting the dog. There is my ferocious Charlie girl. Aww. I will see if I can find you a treat later. I think there's an achievement for like petting her ten times in a row or something like that. Or petting her ten times. You are the best girl. You know She's a cute way. hellhound. She reminds me of Hellboy. You know. Hey Charlie Wiley puppy face. Feeling good today, girl. What you doing, Charlie? I don't know how many times that is. 
I'll pet her one more time. Hello, my sweet girl. I love her. Mulder's ass not far. Damn it, Mulder. You feeling all right? Yes, I'm feeling all right, Mother. Heard you had a nightmare. In the words of Agamito, don't be afraid. Bad dreams are only dreams. Let's talk later, Hunter. Tony will start pouting if you keep him waiting too long. Something about the whole alien thing threw off his mojo. Punching bag. Holy shit. There's money lying on the ground. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell preventing him from incinerating this facility. Uh, I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without your its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, Babs. Now it all makes sense. Well, Babs, the Sumerian fire demon. Terror of the situation. I found this thing actually has some uses: molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums. Fashion accessorizing. Mm, yes, speaking of. Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer a minimal protection against the venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps I am Iron Smithy. Try it on. God damn, I'm hot. My tits look great in this. My tits look great in this. Damn near indestructible. Size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. I still think it could have benefited from a cloak. We don't ever think to benefit from a cloak. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy? Oh, baby. Or carbon neutral. Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? Nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. It was this close to making it menthol flavored. <laughs> the tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact resistant carbon composites, some patent pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. So it is a marvel then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. Seen anything strange around here? What, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! <laughs> but on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look back at you. My room rearranges itself. And worst of all... I wonder if they bring Iron Man back in after the... 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 Was it the Kang stuff that's coming out. For a cat? Actually, yes. I thought I was going crazy there for a second, but clearly I'm still firing on all cylinders. 
It just poofed in next to me out in the yard. Small, black, furry. Cute little thing. Probably some kind of shape-shifting monster knowing this place. Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? It might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma yeah. oscillation make a lot more sense to me than eye of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. <sighs> At least they did before everything changed. I cannot help but feel partially responsible. Well, I wouldn't take it personally. We were detecting changes in both magic and science months before you woke up. But yeah, things have definitely hit high gear since then. <laughs> uh, something like that. It's a forge. Oh, that's right. You were out a while. Basically, we've got a gigantic demon inside the magic box here that provides near limitless power for whatever we might need. Sounds insane, but sometimes it's easier to just go with it. I am impressed with your resourcefulness. From where you're standing, in the ghetto. Uh, it's half off right now, ghetto. So I bought it. <laughs> I'm enjoying it so far. You must have an interesting origin story of your own. How are you doing, ghetto? Typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military-industrial complex. Mom, famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head. I was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. It just keeps going and off day, and on, and I, and I finished Cyberpunk, shrapnel that lodged itself and I didn't know what to play, play, so here we are. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. You seem well-adjusted enough, considering. Exactly, which means there's hope for you yet. I find these apocalypse scenarios will save you tons of therapy. I mean, it's all dialogue. Thanks it's all voiced. Uh. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. I mean, I did want to play Yakuza 9, but there and I'll walk you through it. my I'll mods revolted. Can't get enough of old Tony, huh? What's on your I appreciate you helping me out. Happy to help. What the fuck is this? What is this? You say you guys say that, but you revolt. Interesting. You revolt against me. Interesting. You revolt. Moon Knight. Dude, why isn't Moon Knight in this game? Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Vissy. Yes, revolting. Uh, lurking is revolting now. Exactly, Vissy. Fascinating. I mean, yes, odious, everyone revolted. I'm let's let's be real. You all revolted. Revolt me harder, Dami Mommy. Ooh woo. Ooh woo. Well met. Man, I just wish I could have brought my brother Gabe along. He loved this place. Yes? Can I help you? Apparently not. I just want you to be my friend! 
I like the abuse. I do. I like it rough. I mean, what did I say out loud? Huh? I like it rough, ooh woo. I mean, I don't detect any lies, uh, Zoe. That is something. No lies detected. I can't come unless I'm in pain, Zoe, so. I know you know, Zoe. I know you know. Interesting. Look around, look around, what is around the campus? Who's got tapeworms? No! I don't have tapeworms. You maniacs. I just like paintings left unrolled, like rolled up around the fucking. God damn it. God damn it, Odious. Learn the truth, you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. Such disappoint. Much sad. Yes. You guys much disappoint me. Uh -huh. There are cracks in this wall. Punch it then. Am I cooking now? Like, just picking up mushrooms randomly. So, supposedly, now that I'm playing a Marvel game. Adam Driver is going to play Mr. Fantastic in the the Fantastic Four reboot. And I hope I actually like that choice a lot if it's true cuz I love Adam Driver. But we'll see. Depends on I the one I'm really interested in is who they cast as Doctor Doom. Who 
Man, it better not suck. Like, Fantastic Four is like their best, Marvel's best characters. <laughs> Where the fuck is Okay, that's where I am. Oh, they don't need to give the origin story again. They just need a fucking... A cool movie, man. Where do they want me to be? Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye old demon hunting school, so I'm just going to give you the... I mean, they haven't done it with Spider-Man movies. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning, but Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line. <laughs> I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? What have you got for me, boss? Yeah, I understand. A lot of people are like that. But Guardian 3 was really good, man. sure Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Third state of matter, indeed. Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. I say Nodius, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is my favorite Marvel movie already, so... look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Silly Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended and your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? Physically, I am fine. However, I do feel some... Grogginess, a tinge of nausea, sense of memory loss upon time, of passing, watery or itchy eyes, common side effects when one is pulled back into the light. Believe me, I know. If any other symptoms arise, you can always tell me. Particularly if you develop a craving for brains. I have a cream for that. In any event, I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel one. I'll tell you this, Odious. I cried during the movie more than once. I, I also laughed a lot. What transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost. Swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. 
Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was... It's his. not... My charge, I don't know. My I don't know what I want to say, but... I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. But yeah, I get that. Benefit you more than it has me thus far. That creature on the roof, you have run into it before? Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture. Show me the bots. Typically, Show me your buttholes. What's up, Claw? How you doing, buddy? My mother has a gift for bringing out the worst in people. Yes, and in this case, I happen to be the direct victim of her ambition. I fear the sanctum may never be the same. How you doing, buddy? Tell me about your sanctum's wards of protection. I have never heard of a protection spell that powerful. In your time, I'm sure you encountered a variety of minor wards and protective spells. The Sanctum Sanctorum was shielded by one. It does have good butts. But greatly amplified by the convergence of ley lines. I said, show me your butthole, ghetto. Will the wards ever provide the same protection that they had? It may be possible to undo the damage, but now that a weakness has been exposed, I'll have to rethink my approach entirely. Tony did offer a military-grade laser protection bridge, if he's so inclined to go that route. How did Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is quite tragic, and perhaps not mine to tell. There was an accident on the Abbey Grounds. We need our book, Claw. The Zoe Book of Donations. Must have been some accident. Agatha had been teaching Wanda, hoping she would learn to control her immense but very raw power. As Zoe, you need to like like put them all in a book, donate one to like print it out and pr give it to Katie. She pushed too far. Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. That's cool. Claw streams constantly. Uh, he hasn't streamed. I, I just Care pulled my mouse off. Of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. <laughs> now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. I'm an idiot. I just pulled my mouse off the back of my computer. Time to train. From all Sarah told us about you, of course, claw streams. You lazy. Everyone loves you when you are dead. Tell me, does that mean you are half loved? <laughs> she didn't <laughs> describe you as a snarky jackass, but here we are. I was trying to make a joke, dude. All right, Tony Stark Jr., ask your questions. Can I ask about you? I guess. Is your name really Blade? Is your name really the Hunter? Yes. Oh, I really. 
Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn Success. child the Hunter. That is how I understand it. It takes all kinds. So, is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? Would you like to making fuck no. berserker? Share it with friends. You do not consider me a friend? Not yet. Don't take it personally. How did you become a dampier? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? Uh, Vampire I'm liking it so far, Claw. Well, I've only been. Probably this was, is my first stream of it. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. I have occasional memories, almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. The combats, I, I mean, I'm not to used to RTA, like then, these kind of turn-based games, Claw, but I'm stop. enjoying it. What brought you to the Abbey? Caretaker. About 10 years ago, she brought me back to the real world. Gave me a place to stay until I came back to myself. Did she ever say why? She said she thought I'd be able to kill more vampires if I was acting on more than just instinct. The time but I know it was more than that. Sound the Naperty! She gave me the Naperty! Did Abbey. someone shit their Something pants? Never Cause I smell bullshit. Oh, it's just room. By the time I <laughs> Thank you, Arcade, so for that resub. Welcome back to that by Rod. Oh, yeah, I guess now. Club, of course I showed up. It's the guys that made the XCOM games, Claw. Do you have any thoughts on the team as a whole? I think we're the only ones aware of the danger Lilith poses to this world. And I think we're pretty green. But enough training will get us through it. Speaking of training... I played the first... I have the second one. I played the first one and... I am ready to train. Finally. Nice to get some fresh air. Ready to work? See you around. Hunter. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. I mean, we're kind of still in the territorial arcane. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie, going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> well, not so much. I, I'm not surprised, Arcane. Invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the sanctum. Every lock has its key. True. It came out in Andy December or November. Hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. My time as a pilot taught me one thing. It's that sometimes you've got to I have no idea, out. Greg. As in Hydra. They've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Just how far are you willing to go, Captain? Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them, if need be. A quantum what? You'll see. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. 
I have no idea who does anything around these parts. I have no idea who does anything around these parts. Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. Ow. The gamma signature is completely inverted. I don't the think I can hey. are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the gamma signature from the sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just Sorry. Jesus Christ. Working out a few gremlins in the system. Is that from sunlight? And whatever you do, avoid yeah. water. Oh, wait. You're being serious? <sighs> Kick things to make them work. New gamma signature to its source then. Kick them. Kick them. I do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly <laughs> is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk. Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens Time to has everyone. Come. Sound well, the Napper okay. Team. Not the Napper nice Team. I recently learned that the LOTR trilogy are rated PG-13, which means they Bandit each get where? one square. Where would you the place it in each film? Down. My favorite kind. I don't know, man. Where would Anybody you put... Up for paying it a visit? You just make Jeff. them say fuck in each one of them? That's a good thought. I think. Teamwork, goosebumps. I feel like you may have to make Gollum say fuck. Fine. Like when he loses the ring. Fuck! Or finds the ring, I mean. Whatever. Multi million dollar piece of experimental technology. Don't you kiss me. Let's make a mission. It was just recently. No. Well, they fucked us, my precious. <laughs> Let's see. Trench coat, sunglasses at night, brooding personality. I wear my sunglasses at night. That's a good one, too. Gamma signatures and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse. 